Hey guys, today we are going to talk about NGROC, that is a tool that lets you connect your local host to the internet for testing applications and APIs. So uh, here basically I have an application on localhost, it's just a basic Rails app, and what if I want to make it available on my phone, or what if I want to showcase it to my uh, mom on her phone? Well, uh, I don't want to deploy this application uh, to Heroku, like to a production environment just for this. Uh, I want my local host to have a real URL that uh, uh, I can uh, showcase to anybody. And uh, that's where you can use a tool like uh, ngrok. So here I created an account at uh, ngrok. I uh, installed it with running this command. Then I added my authentication token. And uh, now uh, I can uh, deploy my application online. So I'm going to run uh, this command. Now in one window, I'm going to start the Rails server of my application. And in another window, I'm going to run this ngrok uh, command. But actually, in this example, it runs uh, localhost 8080. But in my case, I'm using localhost 3000 for the Rails app. So I will say localhost 3000. And you see, it gave me this uh, forwarding URL. So uh, I'm going to copy this forwarding URL, open it in a new tab. And uh, we have this welcome screen. So you're about to visit uh, this app. Okay, let's click visit site. And here we hit our Rails application and we have this uh, uh, message that we need to allow a host. So to do this, I'm going to go to uh, development.ab file in my Rails app, add this host. Now I'm going to restart the Rails server, go back. And here I have my Rails app running. So my Rails app is available at uh, kind of real URL. Let's check it. I'm going to try to open this from my uh, phone. I will uh, paste the URL. I'm not sure if you see it, but I have this welcome screen. I'm going to click on visit site. And here I have the list of events. So if I uh, change something in events uh, index, refresh it on the uh, laptop, refresh it uh, here. You see in localhost I also have this, uh, I mean, I have uh, localhost available with a real URL on my uh, phone. So that's really cool. And uh, let's try restarting the ngrok. So uh, I'm going to restart it. And you see the URL is different. So if I refresh the previous URL, it is not, no longer available. I go to the new URL. I can have this welcome screen. I click visit site. And again, I need to add the, this uh, new domain to allowed hosts. So instead, I'm going to go to development.rb and say config.hosts equals nil. Now uh, I'm going to restart the Rails uh, app. And uh, I will no longer have uh, this problem with the uh, uh, config hosts whenever the ngrok URL changes. OK. Um, Actually, go into the ngrok command. Uh, you don't have to type the whole ngrok uh, localhost 3000. You can just say ngrok uh, HTTP 3000. And it will work the same way. And again, I have a new URL. So uh, I will input it. Again, I have this welcome screen. I visit the website and it works. And if you have a look here, we also get a web interface. What is this? Let's try opening this uh, localhost 4040. And I have the list of all the requests that go through ngrok uh, into our applications. Let's clear the requests. I will try to get new event, uh, back to events. I go back here and I have a new event and uh, back to events. And I have the information about all these requests. So it looks uh, quite nice. It's like an additional uh, layer of uh, monitoring the activity uh, that happens via ngrok. So it looks... Uh, Okay, uh, but I really don't like uh, having these uh, welcome screens. So uh, if I want to show it to my mom, it, she can actually get scared of this welcome screen. Uh, let's uh, have a look once again. I have this welcome screen and it gives me a few options. So uh, set and send Angros key browser warning request header with any value. Uh, let's just try making a CURL request to this uh, uh, website. So uh, I will say CURL. And yeah, I managed to get uh, the list of events. So this seems to be working. And let's try also sending the headers. CURL, uh, headers. And uh, in the headers, I will have uh, ngrok skip browser warning. 
set to true and uh, at the URL so you see it uh, kind of worked the same way so there is not much value in uh, doing this for me but uh, my uh, best solution to like not have this uh, welcome screen was actually go and have uh, a persistent uh, uh, domain name in ngrok so uh, one way you could do it is going here and instead of using an ephemeral domain that runs only once when you start the ngrok user static domain uh, the way I created it was by going to edges. I created a new edge where I just gave like uh, a name or whatever, and it gave me this uh, domain. So if I go to this domain, you see now it kind of exists, but uh, there is no connection to the rail server. So I would go to start a tunnel. I will copy this command. I will uh, stop the previous ngrok uh, command, and I have this ngrok tunnel label. I have this edge name. Uh, so this is the edge name and uh, HTTP localhost in our case it will be 3000 okay and now if I go to this uh, URL I have the list of events so uh, this way uh, the URL is not going to be changing you just need to have Android running your Rails server running and uh, your application is going to be available in the internet your local host application is going to be available in the internet so I think it's uh, really great for testing and showing your mom uh, yeah and that's it thanks for being with me and see you in the next one